paramedic said Mr. Love was in the middle of a rehearsal when he complained of a headache and collapsed. Uh, okay, uh, run a full battery test page, Dr. Archer, and get an OR ready. Wait, wait, hang on a second. Whether that was one hell of a party, or I'm dead. Well, you're not dead. And I took something that's messing with my head. You're in the hospital, Mr. Love. Uh, you collapsed while you were rehearsing with your band. You may have suffered an embolism. It's a serious condition. It will require treatment. I'm hallucinating, right? You are conscious, Mr. Love, and as lucid as I imagine you get. Has anybody else seen a doctor that looks just like me? You're not hallucinating, Mr. Love. The doctor looks exactly like you. But don't worry, I'll be handling your case and I'll update you as soon as the test results come back. Go ahead. Wait, you're, you're handling this? Dad, you're freaking the guy out. What are you talking about? I don't look that much like him. <laughs> There's no reason for me not to treat Eli Love. He is gonna think we slipped him mushrooms every time he sees you. Look, shouldn't the surgeon who's who's got the most experience perform the surgery? I've done twice as many of these procedures. Dad, it's gonna be like you're operating on yourself. Ah, you're making way too much of this. Is it gonna look a little bit like the a guy? Robin, will you please enlighten senior Dr. Drake on the potential for ethical compromise Dr. and potential Drake, malpractice? Your girlfriend into this. Epiphany, do you think my father should operate on his lookalike? Uh, work it out. Oh, Dr. Drake, my man. Excuse me? I got the chicks are gonna flock to this guy. What's he on about? Well, oh, God. Eli Love. I always knew there was a resemblance, but I went to see him in concert the other night. It is scary how much you look like him. You put him up to this. I've been standing right here. Then you heard him telling me I shouldn't be operating on Mr. Love, right? No. Well, it'd be like operating on yourself. So you should take advantage. Just stop it. Now look, chicks have a thing for rock stars. They'll take one look at you, assume you're Eli Love. We'll talk. <clears throat> what did I tell you? You're Eli Love's doppelganger, so have fun cashing in on your genetic good fortune, but you're not operating on this guy. You know what? I'm better qualified than you are for this. Do I need to go to Ford over this? Hey, be my guest. That is the most stubborn man I've ever met. I wish I could say the same. Look, Robin, I'm trying to stop him from making a huge mistake. Almost as big as you performing surgery on Eli Love. Okay, it's a difficult procedure, but I can handle it. The man looks ridiculously like your father. I mean, you, you could freeze up. There's whoa, no whoa, whoa, way that whoa, you hey, could be objective. I never freeze up. Your emotions could get in the way, and don't even try and tell me you don't have any, especially where your father's concerned. Dylan. Look, I can call in Dr. Lawrence to do the surgery. Dr. Lawrence is competent on a good day. Mr. Love needs the best. Patrick, I love you, but sometimes you are so arrogant, and on this occasion, you happen to also be wrong. You don't think I can do it? No, I know that you can do it on a stranger. Someone that looks like a stranger. Then you could possibly be objective. Robin, I am always objective when I operate. Oh, gee, thank God. I thought it was going to be that doctor that looks like me. That guy freaks me out. Well, I got your test results back. You are suffering from an embolism. It's a blood clot that can become dislodged, travel to your brain and block the supply of blood and oxygen, which is why you passed out. Hmm. Huh. Well, where's the clot now? It's in an operable place. I need to do surgery in order to remove it. Brain surgery? Ha! <laughs> Forget it. I got a concert I gotta do, mate. Look, Mr. Love, either I operate or you die. 